Let's assume that the radius of the base of the cone is equal to r. Let's assume that the slant length of the cone is equal to l. And let's also assume that the height of the cone is equal to h. Since this is a right circular cone, therefore from Pythagoras theorem, it follows that l square is equal to r square plus h square. And therefore, r square is equal to l square minus h square. Now the volume V of the cone is equal to 1 upon 3 times pi r square h. Substituting the value of r square obtained above, this is equal to pi h upon 3 times l square minus h square. Which can be written as pi upon 3 times in brackets l square h minus h cube. Now the volume of the cone is maximum or minimum when the first derivative of v with respect to h is equal to 0. This implies that pi upon 3 times l square minus 3h square is equal to 0, which implies that h is equal to l upon root 3. Now since dv upon dh is equal to pi upon 3 times l square minus 3h square, therefore the second derivative of v with respect to h is equal to pi upon 3 times in brackets 0 minus 6h, which is clearly negative. Therefore, the volume V is maximized when h is equal to L upon root 3. And therefore, the radius of the base of the cone, which is equal to root of L square minus h square, is equal to root of L square minus L square upon 3, which simplifies to L times root 2 divided by root 3. Now, if alpha is the semi-vertical angle of the cone, then tan alpha is equal to r upon h. And for the cone with the maximum volume, this is equal to l root 2 upon root 3 divided by l upon root 3. l upon root 3 cancels across the numerator and denominator, and so tan alpha is equal to root 2, or alpha is equal to tan inverse root 2 for the cone with maximum volume which is the required answer.